All right, everybody, I'm back. Now, I'm already got done with all the, the recaps of the event. However, I normally don't like to continue the second part of this, but I had this idea for months that I feel like I cannot hold it in anymore. And I've actually just recently told my fiance and my business partner, Rainbow, just a couple days ago. That's how long I actually kept it hidden. So here we go. Now, in anybody, which is MMA fans, MMA promoters and different organizations from Dana White, you know, Bellator, UFC, Strike Force, all the MMA organizations in the world, please, you have got to hear me out on this one, okay? I think if you can get, you know, get this idea of my of my emotion, so to speak, you can really raise the bar of the MMA sport forever for, for this. So let me go through this right now. Basically what this all boils down to, this is an idea from WCW, which is World Championship Wrestling. And I'm talking professional wrestling here, but hear me out. What happened is Vince McMahon, of course, bought WCW 2001, and now he owns the rights of this event called the Knights of Champions, which is basically in professional wrestling, every title is on the line, right? So, with that being said, I really would, would, would be a great idea for any MMA event to do it once a year, whether it's UFC or, like I said, Strike Force, Bellator, the King of the Cage, it doesn't matter. Who Somebody needs to um, actually get this idea out there. Because I'm going to put it like this. This will really help if we can get a, an MMA event called Champions Night. Rather than the Night of Champions, so you so the there was no there were no legal repercussions from the professional from WWE World Wrestling Entertainment, they might as well have a Champions Night event, which basically means every title from every weight class will be on the line. Yes, I've said it. Every title will be on the line in this once a year extravaganza. And hell, you may even might as well create that to make it like a Super Bowl of MMA. I mean, MMA needs something that's really special, that's really going to be gravitating. I mean, just imagine the, the power that it's going to bring. Just imagine the money, the media attention. Just imagine all, the, just imagine the, how the bar could raise with the sport of MMA in general, no matter which organization get it. Actually, if UFC gets it, that really, really raise the bar for mixed martial arts forever. And any other organizations, it will not only raise the bar for mixed martial arts, but it could even raise the bar for an organization that actually capitalized on this idea. Like for Strike Force, every not only will all the men's um, division weight classes will be defended, but also the women's as well. See, all the women championships will be defended. So I'm telling you, one night a year, there needs to be one night a year where all the titles will be on the line. I mean, yeah, the most of it that UFC and many of the organizations get will be at least two title matches or even one, and those are great enough as it is, but just imagine every title will be defended from all weight classes. Can you just imagine that? Guys, if anybody's listening, you need to pass this word around and see if we can make this happen sometime in the future because this, like I said before, I've envisioned this. I've had vision this for a long time and I can just see how it, this can, can really grow into a, such a big thing in MMA. It can really raise the bar. So think about it, guys. Think about it, Dana White. Think about all the all y'all promoters out there, all the fans out there. Just think about it, pass it along. What do you think about this idea? What do you think this this event should be? Yeah, like I said, once a year, make it a Super Bowl of MMA. Why not? So that is the idea. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. And moving on, just want to let you know that I am going to congratulate the former UFC light heavyweight champion Chuck Liddell on not only on his retirement, finally um, after many years of not only being a champion many years ago, but also the years of the last few years of him constantly getting pounded, it's better now that he's, a, um, that he's retired and he's healthy. Not only that, but the reason I'm congratulating him too is I'm congratulating him for a new position in, in his life and in the UFC as the UFC Executive Vice President of Business Re Development. Yes, so now Chuck Liddell has a new um, it, a new position in his life, not, not as a fighter now, but as an executive officer. Now he can actually go around, talk to different fighters, go around the world, make deals happen, make fights happen, develop the business model as, 
you know, it needs to be developed. So congratulations, Chuck Liddell, on, on your new position in life. And that's, it's a great thing. I, I really like to see somebody retired and really be healthy in this. So I'm really happy for Chuck. So, and, and that's just it. And I think now this will really raise the bar for UFC now that Chuck Liddell, a fighter who once was a, an actual MMA fighter, can actually lead on the, the organization and actually bring it to new heights. So this would really create, make a UFC even bigger than it is already. Now, if Chuck Liddell hears this idea and actually and Dana White and the other owners of UFC can come together and, ex and, and implement this plan that, that I actually give out, even though it was not my idea to begin with, but actually make it an MMA event. Oh my God, man, the sky is limitless at the, what that would be at this point. So anyways, guys, I definitely thought I'd share these with you and now I'm gonna get going. So everybody, like I said, Happy New Year, good, um, good luck and good fortune in 2011, and have a great time, and be safe, all of you, for the new year to come. Healing, it is all that is.